What's up, y'all? Oh, I bought some new shades yesterday. I want to them match my outfit. Let me see. Extra. Oh, yeah, I can do these today. I couldn't do it with the outfit I had on yesterday. But, um... So, what's up, you all? I'm your girl, Renisha. Welcome to Renisha's Space over here. I let others fly over the mic while making social media my poopy. All I want to do is encourage you to be everything God has called you to be, even when others don't agree. Let me take the sticker off these shades. It is Friday, October... I never know the date. I think it's, it's, it's definitely not October. It's, uh... Why won't this come on? It's Friday, November 20th. If I'm not mistaken. And if it is, that means Kiswana has dropped the Black Plight 2. You all need to go get it. Kiswana Salters. Um, okay. So it is... Okay, so yeah, it's Friday, October 20th or whatever. I mean November 20th, Lord Jesus. Check out my shirt. Daughters do it different. Thanks, Nicole. Yeah. Um... I don't know if she has this shirt available for purchase because I'd be late on everything. So if you want this shirt, I'll let you know if you can purchase it from her. I'm not sure and I don't want to start a rumor. Okay. So this morning, and I'm going to release this probably for Testimony Tuesday, but this morning I was praying in the shower. Here we go again in that doggone shower. And um, I started praying and singing and worshiping. And the Lord brought the people before me that are questioning due to the different events in 2020. They're questioning, or you all, some of you are questioning if God is even real anymore. So I was praying, interceding for you all. And um, so I was praying and interceding for you all. And this is what sparked this video. Basically, the Lord was telling me to let you all know that he's not intimidated or upset by the fact that you're questioning if he is real. Um, especially for those of you who know you've lost loved ones prematurely this year, okay? People die prematurely all the time. Some people think that if somebody dies, it is because it is God's will. That is not always the case, but I'm not about to argue with nobody over that, okay? So... Um, I'm going to share this testimony. So some of you have heard this back in, I don't know if it was 2016 or 2017. It's been a while, girl. 2016 or 2017, um, something happened with someone. It was some warfare I was dealing with, okay? And I got to the point where I was doing the same thing. I was questioning if God was real. And I told him, I was like, sir, I know you're real. But right now I'm questioning if you're real. And I need you to prove yourself. To me, like, I know, I know you are, but I just need you to know I'm feeling some type of way. And right now I'm questioning your mere existence, okay? So you all, some of you need to just be honest, okay? So you can't, I need to stop saying okay. You cannot get free or deliver from anything that you don't admit is an issue. So if you have been going back and forth in your head this year or before this year um about if god is real or not and especially this year because of everything that has happened it's like why would god allow this and why would he let this happen and how could he take this person from me listen you need to stop walking around man and i'm gonna do another testimony tuesday about how i um didn't even realize until i got into therapy this year i didn't know i was still mad at god for something that happened but i'll get into that in another video that's why you need therapy okay but some of you you what you're gonna do just keep walking around man you got a whole ship on chip on your shoulder you serving but you man you working but you man you marry but you can't even love purely um and to the intensity that you need to because you man you can't even take care of your kids the way you want to because you you just mad you just mad at god y'all they taught you in the traditional church and not all traditional churches but many of you you grew up and they taught you don't question god don't question god 
He is the God of answers. It's okay to question him. Let me say that again. He is the God of answers. Okay, first of all, a lot of those people that tell you that is because they're telling you all kind of stuff and they want you to be dependent on them. It's manipulation and they want you to look at them like they're God and like they're supposed to rule you and whatever they say um, you're supposed to do, you're just supposed to do it. No, 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 no. This is why you need Holy Spirit. This is why you have to have a relationship with Holy Spirit. He is the God of answers. Now, he may not always give you the answers that you're looking for. He may not always give you the answer that you want, but he is the God of answers. So he wanted me to come tell you that some of you, you know what? These camera angles, I promise y'all now, I got a big chest, but my God, it ain't that. These camera angles be, be coming for me. It's not, okay. Anyway, he wants some of you all to just straight up admit, like sit down and have a conversation with him. Have a seat, just like I'm talking to you now. Have Sit down and have a seat with God. I mean, have a conversation with God. This is what he wants you to do. He wants you to admit how you are feeling. Don't hold anything back now. Just sit down and have a conversation with him, okay? Let it all out. Um, Like a therapy session. Now, I don't agree with this whole, I don't need a therapist. Jesus is my therapist. Okay. Yeah, he's a wonderful counselor, but you need to go sit on somebody's couch too or get on somebody's Zoom call. But sit down, be honest with him. And some of you all just, you, you're you going to feel so free, like a load is going to fall off you. Some of you are literally going to burst into tears. If you follow these instructions, you're going to burst into tears and it's like oh, weight is going to be lifted off. Just sit down and be like, okay, God, I'm mad at you. And this is why I'm mad at you. And this is what I felt like should have happened. Just go ahead and do it because you're holding yourself up. Okay. All right, so he's real, he's relevant, he remembers his word, but you're going to have to be real with yourself and let him know how you're feeling right now. 2020 has been ugh, for us all. Some great things have happened this year for me. Some not so great things have happened. Some people have transitioned that I know. My heart has been hurting for other people. It's just been a lot, so yeah. Everybody has been affected by 2020, whether they admit it or not some way or another if you if you can feel anything for anybody else my god you know what i'm saying so yeah stop being fake that's what y'all doing stop being fake be real and let them know how you feel all right so today's friday this will be posted tuesday unless the lord tells me to release it before then but i hope you all have a happy week this week i have a couple of videos that i'm going to have scheduled for you all um they're going to be pre-recorded so you're going to see it pop up, but it's going to be recorded already. All right. Love y'all. Bye. Okay, guys. So thank you for making it to the end of this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to this channel, and please hit your notification bells. Okay. Because in my analytics, it says like 22% of my people have their notification bells on. So make sure you hit the bell so that you know when I drop a video. Also, check out my second channel, the resuscitation station. Um, if you love the word, that channel is dedicated just to the word of God. I'm going to be doing Bible studies and I do scriptures every day. We read the Bible together. So make sure you check out that channel. The description is in um, my description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on my social media. Everything is down below periscope ig TikTok, facebook i don't be on ig like that my blog which i need to get back to blogging but make sure you follow me on those platforms if you want to send prayer requests my email is also down in the description box you all if you want to purchase my book that i never talk about mantle for manifestation if you want to purchase my book it's a book about prayer and fasting i literally take y'all each day, I give you the scripture. I give you a short blurb. And then I, you just pray the prayer that I have in the book, you all. It's all here. If you struggle with fasting, if you don't know how to fast, get this book from Amazon. I'm telling you, it is lit. Okay? Read the reviews on Amazon. Also, if you desire to sow into this ministry, I have PayPal, I have Cash App, and I have Venmo. I just, um, so yeah, if you want to sow into this ministry, that's in the description box also. And that is it. So thank you all so much. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Bye, y'all.